Who remembers when Battlefield used to give free DLC? That's pretty much the last time I was really deep into Battlefield. Uh, Bad Company 2 was the last game that I really, I really, really loved. And it inspired me. It actually, some of you hardcore Rhino Crunch fans might remember my original Bad Company 2 videos that I did that were just... Almost as bad as this video, probably. But, uh, yeah, Bad Company 2, man. Those were the days. And I think, generally speaking, my whole thing with shooters is is I'm, I lean more towards the authentic side. Like, if you were to take games in general and you were to draw a line, and on one side you have authenticity... You know, as far as realism, graphics, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and on the other side, you have arcadey, like just arcadey, like the old school arcade games that defined gaming for a long time. And I kind of started off on the on on the one side of arcadey, and I wanted I I always wanted something more authentic and more real to feel more realistic and more closer to what war or what firefights or flying a helicopter would feel like so battlefield bad company 2 at the time to me was one of the most realistic authentic war games out now i know a lot of the the really hardcore milsim fans are going to say that america's army and there was other games out i just personally wasn't exposed to them and didn't know about them so i kind of stopped playing battlefield when when Battlefield 4 came out and I played a little bit Battlefield 3 I played a little bit I just didn't get into it because I was leaning towards the realistic side and I had discovered Arma and Arma is a blast but Arma is its own beast so now we have Battlefield Hardline which and I think that even Battlefield was kind of in its discovery phase as far as where are we going to go with this are we going to go are we going to continue to do this vehicle warfare and these great maps but i think they found they found like this great middle ground of arcadey and realistic now a lot of people are going to say this is what are you talking about dude you could jump out of a helicopter and knife someone in the throat and then jump in a you know like rpg i mean it's it's a, it's out of control right but it they still are leaning more towards you know, vehicle warfare and different types, you know, just the versatility of warfare. And that's why they call it Battlefield, I'm sure. But so for me, this is like great because this hard line, I think, is just, man, it is it is an absolute blast, especially Hotwire. If you hadn't if you haven't had a chance, Battlefield Hardline right now is on Origin, which is like Steam's version of and I'm sure it's on the Xbox market and the PlayStation market, but Origin is Steam's version of, uh, or EA's version of Steam, and it's free. I highly recommend you guys try it out. If you haven't played Battlefield in a while, try it out. It is ab it's just it's just fun. It's a fun game, and I'm leaning more towards fun. You know, I love I love Arma. Don't get me wrong. I've always loved, you know, that lean towards authenticity, and I hope that we push with that. I hope the industry pushes with that. Because I think that that's what people are eventually going to want. And arcades, arcadey games will die. Maybe for specific generations they won't die. Like teenagers and kids who just love that quick reaction type game where you are defined by chance and your reaction time. Versus you're defined by how you think about things in your brain. Which I think a lot of Arma gameplay... I would say 90% of Arma gameplay is not luck but strategy and tactics whereas call of duty is 90 percent ability and skill and 10 percent tactics and that's just my opinion i don't play call of duty so i'm probably completely wrong but that's just what i feel like from a shooter's perspective 
And I really hope that we continue. I really hope the industry continues, especially with the Oculus coming out. I hope we continue towards just authenticity where games reflect real life more than they reflect gaming, if that makes sense. And Hardline's so much fun, man. I, I don't watch other YouTubers, so I don't know what kind of content they're putting out. I'm sure there's some awesome YouTubers out there that may have some amazing skill and do some pretty dirty things. I've always been a fan of Engineer because of his rocket launcher, because of his uh, SMG, where he is, he, you know, the, I think the Engineer or mechanic in Hardline is definitely Suspect defined by his speed and aggression. Um, you know, I, I, I love sniping in Arma. I don't really like sniping in Battlefield. It's not really my thing unless I'm playing hardcore or something where it's a one-shot kill. But the engineer or the mechanic is a blast, especially driving around with the, you know, the Thumper, the M79, and having SMG and a repair tool. It's just so much fun. And this guy I actually met is like an amazing pilot. I played one game. I, I had no idea who he was. And I just hopped in the helicopter to get a spawn point, but he's actually like a really good pilot. As you can see, he is amazing. And so I teamed up with him the next game to get some, uh, I wanted to get see if I get some footage because I've always been a good gunner. Flying, not so much. I can fly. I, I, I can fly okay. I'm not as good as some of the pilots out there. There's some amazing pilots out there. So anyways, we had this crew, and we were just absolutely wrecking house and just shutting the enemy team down. Now, I must say, we did not... We got very few, you know, counter-defensive uh, attacks against us, for example. No Strellas were launched at us, and if they were, they were pretty much, you know, repaired up right away. And also, the biggest threat, I think, right now for helicopters is the sniper. Um, I know that sounds silly, but there's a 338 uh, Lapua or Magnum round, I mean, that you can get that will absolutely destroy the helicopter in literally three or four hits. And I don't know, I think it does like 33% damage or 30% damage, but it will shut down the helicopter and their pilot right away. This game is a blast, and it's so inspiring to me, whether I'm running around grabbing these pickups... You know, like the LMG and RPG and Wrecking House or using what's in the game, like the helicopters. So tell me what you guys think. Any Battlefield fans still here? I know it's been a while, but what do you guys think about Hardline? Go check it out before you before you uh, before you buy it though. You'll get a you'll get a pretty good taste of what's to come. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace. Uh -huh.